Okay, in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed about the narrow band reject filter, which is called notch filter. Okay. So, the second type of uh, band reject filter is uh, wide band reject filter. So, how to design the wide band reject filter? Wide band pass filter we have designed by cascading the low pass filter and high pass filter. Whereas, to obtain this wide band reject filter, instead of cascading this low pass and high pass filter, we have to add the outputs of the high pass and low pass filter. So, that can be explained with the help of the ideal frequency response. This is the ideal frequency response of high pass filter. say f h is the cutoff frequency from 0 to f h gain is 0 and f h to infinity gain is unity this is modulus of h of j f as a function of f the ideal h p f response and what will be ideal low pass filter response it allows up to 0 to a particular frequency say f l is the cutoff frequency of ideal low pass filter and from f l to infinite this will reject. So, here we have to choose that the cutoff frequency of high pass filter which is f h should be greater than f l then only you can obtain the response of band reject filter. So, if I add these two, if you perform the addition of these two, then if I take this responses, this is f l, this is f h, this is 0. between 0 to f l what is the value of high pass filter is 0 between 0 to f l h p f magnitude is equal to 0 l p f magnitude is unity if I add these two resultant magnitude is So, here we will be having unity. Up to F L. From F L to F H, F L to F H, this is F L, this high pass is 0. low pass is also 0. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. So, this response will be having 0 response between f l to f h. f h to infinity, what is low pass? This is high pass, this is low pass f h to infinity this is unity, whereas this one is f h to infinity this is f h this is 0. So, 1 plus 0, 1 is the response of high pass filter, 0 is the response of low pass filter, the resultant is unity. So, 
So, this will reject the frequencies from FL to FH whereas, it allows all the frequencies outside this range. So, this response is nothing the ideal response of band reject filter response. So, in order to construct a wide band reject filter, we have to add the outputs of uh, the low high pass filter and low pass filter with a condition that the cutoff frequency of high pass filter should be greater than that of the low pass filter. Now, if you consider the circuit diagram of a wide band reject filter, this is high pass filter. This is R F R one. This is C R. And the low pass filter is. You have to exchange the positions of capacitance and resistor. Now, these two will be having common input. Which is the input V i. So, this will give some response, this will give some response. Finally, we have to add these two responses. This adder also you can implement by using op amp that we already discussed. Here I am showing this adder symbol, but this adder also can be implemented by using the operational amplifier. This is the final output V0. This we call as R1 dash RF dash. This we are taking same values of R and C. This is the circuit diagram of wide band reject filter. And uh, what are the frequency response? Let us assume that this is C1 R1, this is R2 C2. What is the FH? The cutoff frequency of high pass filter, which we have derived in the earlier lectures. This is 1 by 2 pi R1 C1. And what is FL? The cutoff frequency of low pass filter, 1 by 2 pi R2 C2. So, you have to choose the FH value much greater than FL value. Let us take an example design a wide band reject filter with a lower cutoff frequency of Four hundred H and upper cutoff frequency of two kilohertz. So lower cutoff frequency means that is of low pass filter. So FL is given as four hundred. This is equal to one by R two C two implies R2 is equal to 1 by 400 C2, 2 pi times, is 800 pi C2. Let C2 is equal to 0 0.01 microfarads. Then, if you substitute this, you will get R value. This is about the R2 and C2, and to find out R1 and C1, FH is given as 2000, this is equal to 1 over 2 pi R1 C1. Here also, let R1 C1 is equal to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 microfarads, it is up to you. 
we have to take some available value then implies r1 is equal to 1 by 4000 pi c1 if we substitute this c1 value we will get some r1 value and uh, r1 dash and r1 rf and uh, rf dash this you can choose a value of 10k which you have already discussed in the earlier lectures this is pass band gain of 1 plus rf by r1 which is 2 so this will give pass band gain of 2 this is if it is 10k 10k so then the response will be output versus input which is h of jf this is unity this is 0.707 this is fl this is fh this is 400h and this will be 2 pass band gain is 2 because 1 plus rf by r1 is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 which is equal to 2 So, you can take any value of this pass band gain by choosing the proper values of R1, RF, R1 dash and RF dash and this is center frequency F0 is given by square root of FL into FH and what will be the Q factor F0 by FH minus FL. So, what is F0 square root of one is 400 another is 2000 square root of 800 another is 2000 so this will be square root of 80 into 10 square fh minus fl will be 2000 minus 4 is 1600 so if we compute you will get because this is wide band reject filter so you will get q less than 10 you can compute this okay. I am not computing this one. So, you see about the uh, design of wide band reject filter. Okay. So, by simply adding the outputs of the high pass filter and low pass filter, we can obtain the response of a wide band reject filter. Then the last one is called as all pass filter. Before going to this, I will discuss one example of the notch filter also. Design a notch filter with a notch frequency of 50 edge. means we want a notch filter which rejects only 50 hertz signal this is 50 hertz signal it has to pass the remaining all frequencies okay. as you have seen in the previous lecture that this is the circuit diagram of this one so you have to find out the values of r c this is r by 2 c by 2 so you have to find out the values of r and c basically so, to find out the R and C, this is the value that we have derived. Omega 0 is equal to G by C. So, this we call as F0. 
omega 0 we have divided as g by c. So, this is equal to 1 by r c or what is f 0 which is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c. So, if f c f 0 if want 50 hertz is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c. So, now let c is equal to 0 0.01 microfarads implies you can find out the r using 1 by 100 pi into c. So, you will get some value. So, this is the c value, this is the r value you have to set for this 20 network. You have to find set this c value as 0 0.01 and the r value that we are going to get using the relation that I have given. And there is no other component here also this is r by 2. So, to get this r by 2 we can connect a two such r's in parallel r into r by r plus r to r which is equal to r by 2. And to get uh, two c we can connect two capacitors in parallel. Okay. This is about this high pass filter, low pass filter, band pass filter, band reject filter. So, these are most commonly used filters and there is one other type of the filter which is uh, slightly different from the uh, these four filter which is called as all pass filter. As the name implies it passes all the frequencies. If I take the frequency response of this filter modulus of h of j omega or j f as a function of f all the frequencies from DC to infinity this will be having unity gain. Then what is the use of this all pass filter? Okay. For this all pass filter, all pass filter if I apply say 3 input frequencies say f is equal to 1 kilohertz, f 2 is equal to 2 kilohertz, f 3 is equal to 3 kilohertz output will be will be having all the three frequencies. Then what is the need of all pass filter? So, this all pass filter the frequency response will be constant throughout the frequency band, but <coughs> if I take the free phase response phi of f this varies depends upon the type of the filter it may vary from 180 degrees to 0 or 0 to 180 degree depends upon the type of the circuit that we are going to use means at different frequencies will be having different phase angles. This is say f 1 this much is the phase angle, at f 2 this much is the phase angle, at f 3 this much is the phase angle. This is phi 1, phi 2, phi 3. So, here this input if it is having phase of phi 1, phi 2, phi 3 then the output phases will be different. This is phi 1 dash, phi 2 dash phi 3 dash or if I take the input all with the 0 phase then you will get output with some phase. So, where this type of uh, all pass filters are useful. Okay. So, if I take in uh, telephone communications this is the transmitter this is the receiver. So, this will be connected by wires, this is wired communication. This will access channel, channel is here wire. In mobile communication and all we will be having wireless communication whereas a telephone 
system is example of wired communication. Okay. So, if I transmit this signal from here say x of t, x of t consisting of different frequencies say x of t is having a range of frequencies say from if I take the Fourier transform this one x of f this will be having range of frequencies say for example, 0 to some f 1. this is continuous x of f is continuous this is at f frequency x of f suppose if it varies something like this this is say f1 in between we have lot of frequencies so the receiver the received signal will be x dash of t because the channel will attenuate the x of t so x dash of t is the attenuated of attenuated transmitted signal which will be received by the receiver. Now, here this x dash of t will be having different attenuations for the different frequencies. So, all the frequencies will not be having the same attenuation. So, okay. Suppose, if I call this frequency as f 1 dash f 2 dash and so on. So, here this f 1 dash will be having some attenuation f 2 dash will be having some attenuation and so on. So, at the receiver what you have to do is here we have to design a all pass filter which provides the different uh, phase angles or different delays for the different uh, frequency signals as a result of that they will compensate the, the channel effects. Okay. Channel will provide different attenuations to different signals. Okay. The signal which is uh, passing through the more attenuation at the uh, all pass filter will design with less phase delay. So, that will after this all pass filter all the frequencies will be having same delay. So, now to equalize this we can use this all pass filter. So, that is why the other name of the all pass filter is uh, delay equalizer. Or phase corrector which is going to correct the phase. So, instead of having different uh, signals with different phase this will correct such that all the signals will be having same phase okay. that is required in communication systems phase corrector. So, this will be sometimes used in the music systems also to have the sound effects. So, we can equalize there is an equalizer in the sound system also you can see. So, using that uh, it will equalize the delays thereby will be having different sound uh, effects. So, now it will be circuit diagram of this all pass filter. There are two types of all pass filter one is phase lag and another is phase lead. So, this will be connected to the common input signal V i and here the output V naught is taken. R f normally will take as R 1 and see some R and C. So, what is the transfer function of this circuit? So, we will derive the transfer function and we are going to show that this will act as a all pass filter this uh, actually this input is applied to the two terminals inverting as well as non inverting this is actually equivalent to two input circuit, but the inputs are same this is V i this is also V i. So, what is the output? Output will be sum of the voltages or the sum of the responses due to this V i alone plus this V i alone. Okay. So, if I want to find out the output due to this V i, okay, 
this vi this we have to short circuit if i short circuit this this is ground and this is ground point between these these two ground points r and c will be eliminated so this will acts as simply ground now what is this circuit this is nothing but inverting amplifier whose gain is minus rf by r1 if i set rf is equal to r1 minus 1 so v not if i call this one as v not 1 due to this input so v not 1 is given by minus rf by r1 times vi which is equal to minus vi because rf is equal to r1 now due to the second uh, input if i call as v02 what will be the equivalent circuit this will be grounded now this will be grounded this is v02 mira the here this input will be there let us assume that this value is say va i'll uh, derive the relation between the vi and the va later okay. so what is va in terms of va what is v02 so if i forget about this circuit this is va this is non inverting amplifier whose gain is 1 plus rf by r1 this is 1 plus rf by r1 times va what are f is equal to r1 this is equal to va therefore what is v0 according to superposition theorem v01 plus v02 this is equal to 2 va minus vi but in order to get the overall transfer function v0 by vi you have to express this va as a function of vi so that is clear from this circuit what is va voltage divider this is 1 by sc this is r So, but V A is equal to V I times one by S C divided by R plus one by S C. S C S C will get cancelled. This is equal to V I divided by one plus S R C. If I substitute this here, therefore V not is equal to twice. by 1 plus src minus 1 this overall into vi in place what is v not by vi which is the transfer function this of course function of s is h of s the transfer function of the all pass filter is equal to this 1 plus src is lcm so 2 minus 1 minus src this is equal to 1 minus src by 1 plus src this is the transfer function of all pass filter and what is the frequency response h of j omega or j of also you can write is nothing but This is we have to replace with J omega one minus J omega R C divided by one plus J omega R C. So, or if you want, you can write in terms of F also. It is up to you. If you want to write in terms of F, this will be one minus J two pi F R C so to the magnitude of This you can call as h of j f because we are using f here we are using omega. So what is magnitude of h of j f? So the magnitude of numerator is square root of real part plus imaginary part. One plus four pi square f square r square c square. What about denominator? Denominator is same thing. Mean 
means if I plot the magnitude response, this is flat. This is unity. Means it passes all the frequencies with same gain. Whereas if I want to plot the phase response, phase angle of H of J F, if I call this one as phi, what will be this phi? So the numerator uh, phase angle is can inverse B by A. A plus B phase angle of A plus B is A plus J B, which you have we have studied in our circuit theory or mathematics. This is tan inverse b by a. If I want the phase angle of capital A by capital B, this is equal to phase angle of capital A minus phase angle of capital B. So, the numerator phase angle is tan inverse of, imagine it what is tan inverse of imaginary part is minus 2 f 2 pi f r c divided by 1 divided by tan inverse of 2 pi f r c divided by 1. So, tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. So, this is minus if I take this numerator uh, denominator tan to the numerator it will be minus. This is equal to minus tan inverse of 2 pi f r c again minus tan inverse of 2 pi f r c this is equal to minus 2 tan inverse of 2 pi f r c. So, this will be having different phase for different frequencies as f varies phi also varies. So, if you want to plot this phi as a function of frequency at f is equal to 0 what happens tan inverse of 0 which is equal to phi is 0 ok at f is equal to infinity tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees minus 2 into 90 is minus 180. So, the response will be phase 0 this will be 0 phase and it will reach it at infinity minus 180 degrees. Because minus n a t will be in fact this we have to write in the downwards. This 0 I have to take above, we take this as 0 axis, this as f at f is equal to 0, 0 and it is minus 180. And if I define this uh, F naught as a some cutoff frequency, here there is no cutoff frequency in the sense. So, if I define let F naught is some frequency which is defined as 1 by 2 pi R c. So, 2 pi R c will be 1 by F naught. So, from this what will be the phi? Phi is equal to this 2 pi r c becomes f naught minus 2 tan inverse of f by f naught. At f is equal to f naught tan inverse of 1 which is equal to 45 degrees into 2 means 90 degrees. So, at f is equal to f naught somewhere here we will get this is 90 degrees. At f is equal to f naught, this is unity tan inverse of 1 is 45 into 2 is 90, so minus 90. At f is equal to f naught, you will get 90 degrees. 
this is this particular network is called as phase lag network because this is going to provide the negative phase delay this circuit is called phase lag network but different frequencies will be having different this f0 f0 will be having 90 degrees at this frequency this is the phase angle at this frequency this is the phase angle like that different frequencies will be having different phase angles so in some applications we require the positive phase uh, delay instead of negative phase delay then we can design the phase lead network which is just by reversing this r and c you will get phase lead network is lead all pass filter same circuit but we have to change r and c this you have to say c you have to take r this RF also you have to take as R1. If I call this as VA, we will get similar to the previous procedure V0 is equal to minus VI plus twice VA. But here VA will be different is equal to VI times R by 1 plus 1 by R plus 1 by SC this is equal to vi into src divided by 1 plus src so if i substitute this here we will get v0 is equal to minus 1 plus twice src divided by 1 plus src times vi or what is transfer function h of s is equal to v0 of s by V i of s. These are actually functions of s. I am not writing here s uh, for the sake of simplicity. 1 plus s r c is l c m. This becomes minus 1 minus s r c plus 2 s r c. This is equal to s r c 2 s r c minus s r c s r c minus 1 by s r c plus 1 or what is h of j omega or j f j omega s is equal to j omega or j 2 pi f this is equal to j 2 pi f is s r c minus 1 divided by j 2 pi f r c plus 1 so, you can easily see that magnitude of this one is again unity. It passes all the frequencies with equal magnitude. But what happens to the phase? So, tan inverse of this one imaginary component by real component is minus, this minus minus becomes plus. But here one important point that you have to observe is it f is equal to 0 that is dc. So, this becomes h of j f becomes this is 0 this is 0 but this is minus 1 by plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 which is 180 degrees. So, that is why you will get one 180 degrees term extra this is equal to 180 minus so the numerator is tan inverse of 2 pi f r c by minus 1 which is minus tan inverse of 2 pi f r c denominator is plus but if I take into the numerator we will get minus this is equal to 180 minus twice tan inverse 2 pi f r c. So, if you plot this phase angle at f is equal to 0 at f is equal to 0 
this is this angle is phi is 180 degrees at f is equal to infinity tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees 2 into 90 180 180 180 get cancelled phi becomes 0 this will be something like this this is positive angle so this is called as phase lead network and here also if i define let define f naught there is no cutoff frequency concept here but i am just using f naught as a some frequency 1 by 2 pi rc then this phi becomes 180 minus twice tan inverse f by f naught so at f is equal to f naught this phi becomes this is 45 twice 45 90 180 minus 90 90 degrees this is f naught so like that different frequencies will be having different phase angle this is say f1 this is the phase angle like that this is phase lead network so, this is about this all pass filter which passes the all the frequencies, but it provides the different phase angles. Okay. If I take one example, as yes, we have seen 90 degrees will be occurs at f is equal to f naught what is f naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c this should be equal to 1000 so let c is equal to 0 0.1 microfarads implies you can calculate r is equal to 1 by 1000 2000 pi c you can find out this r value so you can set this r and c values here and this R1 is equal to RF, you can take some say 10, 10 kilo ohms. Okay. So, this is the design of this all pass filter which will give 90 degrees phase angle at 1 kilohertz frequency. This is all about the design of filters. So, in the next lecture, we will take another type of special application which is called oscillators. It will generate the sinusoidal signals using operational amplifiers which are called sinusoidal oscillators. Thank you.